like a bow. What's up, ladies? Today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how why you allow men to control you, okay? And how you are allowing that to happen in your life. And it sort of goes back to the video that I talked about earlier, how to stop being manipulated by men. But in this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about why it's so easy for guys to manipulate you. You see, and it's particularly in your case because everyone's different and everyone has different experiences. But for the most part, if you feel like you're always in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a toxic relationship where you're the one, okay, ready, set, go. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about why you're always the needy one in the relationships, why you're the one who's always consistently chasing, and why men are easy, easily see that as a sign of weakness, and as a result, will control you. Something about human nature is this, okay? Humans are always looking out for the weak. They're always looking out for, you're always sensing for weakness. The second thing is when uh, um, humans are more adapt to attack those who are weak. Why? Because of the third law of human nature, which is we, um, which is we cannot say no to an easy victory. Consistently, we are always emanating signals to, uh, to people. It's up to them to, um, to decipher what those signals mean. A guy who is a manipulator is consistently looking and trying to smell signs of a weak victim, right? And in this case, if you're the one, if you're the woman who's consistently afraid, if, if you're, this is the thing is that the people, the way that people control you is through one simple thing, fear. Because fear is what limits your options, not because they're not there, but because you're not willing to go into the unknown. You are afraid of what would happen if you take control of your life because you don't know, you never had the experience, or at least your people in your life never gave you the opportunity to learn how to, how to be self-sustaining because of their own fear. You see what I'm saying? So it's essentially the fear of being alone. When you think of yourself being alone, it's not that you're gonna fear, you're gonna feel the fear of somebody killing you, no. But the fear in this case is the discomfort. You don't want to face that, that experience of having to be alone and fend for yourself. So what do you do? You rather than, rather than facing yourself, facing reality, seeing your weaknesses and looking at your strength and not focusing on what you don't have and focus on what you have and optimizing that because that's how you learn to be efficient. You delegate that power to somebody else. It's almost, it's almost like socialism or communism where you delegate all of your resources to one person. So what happens in socialism or communism, please don't get me, I don't know much about this, I just know the peripheral, like the basic understanding, is that when, when, when power is centralized in one source, when everything is right, when everything is good, this, this, this power, this power source will delegate the, will delegate, um, the, um, the finances to the country, just like in, just like in, 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 in um, Venezuela. But when the country becomes needy for money, right? When it needs money, what happens? Rather than doing what it's supposed to do, giving money out to the people, it keeps it to itself. Mama, Mama, King. Okay. okay, it keeps it to itself. Sorry, that don't. Someone was downstairs. So what does that mean in this case? Is that okay? That mean is that if you're with someone, and when the moment they feel needy, and they know that they have all the power, what do they do? They try to put you down. How does how does this happen? They, 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 they're looking for signals of fear so they know what you fear. You fear being alone, okay, so then they attack you that, they threaten leaving you. You fear not being financially stable, then they threaten to kick you out. You see, anything, if whatever you fear the most, they use against you. So what is the key to not being controlled? It's not about actually, first of all, the, what you have to do is you gotta have a grand vision for your life. You gotta think many, many years ahead. Start planning your life right now, right? And the reason why is because if you don't plan your life out, that means you won't have the initiative to actually take control of your life. The reason why you're not planning your life out is because of fear. And the reason why you're depending on him is because you don't have a plan for yourself that's based on your actions. So you gotta stop being a little bitch about this and actually man up, right? Man up and say, I gotta take control of my life because in order for you to get out of that cycle is to be fearless. You have to not give a fuck that you're gonna be alone because you know damn well you got the faculties to protect you and to give you the energy, the creativity and the tenacity to overcome it. But if you never have experienced that, then you're never really gonna challenge yourself because you don't know what you, the power that you really have. 
So what you have to do is, is, begin, is begin seeing what's in front of you. Begin seeing the illusions from the facts. Begin seeing examples of your life of women who overcame what you currently are, are in right now. And begin facing your fears, little by little, little by little. It doesn't have to be a big fear. Just focus on whatever fear kind of troubles you and face it. Just so that you can feel the adrenaline rush of overcoming your fears. Why? Your brain does things when, it's, when, it, when, it get, when you feed it adrenaline. It, it raises its capacity, at least for the meantime. But that imprint that your mind experiences for that momentary imprint of, wow, I overcame this, almost becomes like a drug to the point that you want to face more fears. But in order for you to actually get to that point, you actually have to endure pain, endure experiencing that fear, have to think your way through through using your faculties, have to use your creative energy, right? And there's books about that and overcoming it. Little by little, for me, it was playing basketball. I learned how to shoot. I practiced shooting basketball for, many, for like a, for a couple of months, and I actually got good at it. That got me the confidence to actually learn how to approach women because I said, if I could learn basketball, and I doubted myself, I could learn how to approach women. Then I expand, expanded to myself to learning how to earn money and earning a living. I said to myself, if I could learn how to pick up women, which is a fucking chick most guys will never learn, I have to. I could. I'm able to do this. See, it grows, it, it expands upon each other, right? And so what you have to do is just build your confidence up little by little because your confidence was diminished little by little, year by year. So essentially, overcoming dependency of a guy is, is becoming more dependent on yourself. And in order for you to become dependent on yourself, you actually consistently have to challenge yourself. But most women don't want to challenge themselves because the opportunity to give everything up just to be with a guy because it's such an easy thing. Look, like, let me tell you something, man. The opportunity—if somebody gives you free money or, or free housing just for you to chill out—there's uh, not a lot of initiative to actually work on yourself, and that's the truth, man. Look, at, and it sounds sexist. Fuck you if you think it sounds sexist. Look through the, beneath the look beneath the surface. What I'm saying is that as guys, we're not given this opportunity. We don't have a nice ass. Well, maybe some guys. I'm doing squats, okay? I'm doing squats, so it's actually looking nice. People have told me. I check. I check women. not check me on in the um, in the in the. In the train, they're looking, you know. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're gonna get a new set of videos based on based on specific issues. The, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love this will help you deepen the love with your man this is not about manipulation this is not about playing games this is genuine genuine natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being a too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature with over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you could just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it.
I could promise you. Just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're gonna love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right. I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.